And your topic, your topic is very, very good. The rationale of, of Ash Mufara. And, and really, that's what I want to talk about today. Where are we within on passive? Where are we going? And where are we going to end up? And, and over the last, I would say the last month, Mr. Mufara has come on and, and he's, he's really opened up to the affiliates within on passive. He's told us what's going on within on passive. And he's told us that the things that have happened within on passive lately, they were really, really bad. Uh, but at the same time, we understand that Mr. Mufara has things under control even more than that. Uh, on passive is a done deal. It's not going anywhere. It is, it is going to be moving forward. And as I listened to Mr. Mufara over the last month or so, it really was the story of on passive for the last year. This is not something that just happened. It is the story of the last year. And as I as as I listened to Ash, I read a quote the other day and it brought me right into on passive and and I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to give you that quote. I'm not going to tell you where it came from. I'm going to let you ponder that a little bit. I won't tell you yet. And the quote is this that mankind is more disposed to suffer while evil is sufferable. And I heard that, co that quote and I said, whoa, that is unpassive. You will suffer as long as you're willing to accept evil into your life. And if you do that, I can tell you flat out, it won't get better. It will get worse and worse and worse, and evil will overcome your life. Well, that is not on passive. We will not suffer evil. And if you listen to Mr. Mufara, <coughs> excuse me, over the last month, you understand that evil snuck into on passive. And you have to understand, Mr. Mufara, he's got a really, really good heart. And when he engages with people, he engages with good intent. He doesn't think these individuals will do things that aren't, aren't honest, ethical, and clean. That is unpassive. And what happened is evil got their nose under the tent and came in full bore. And what they were trying to do was kill, steal, and destroy, period. They wanted to come in and destroy Mr. Mufara and his family. They wanted to come in and destroy Unpassive. They wanted to do things in their nefarious ways that would just eliminate Unpassive. And obviously, they would do the things they do when it comes to the when it comes to the apples, the money of Unpassive. But that is not Unpassive. We will not suffer evil. And you have to understand, Mr. Mufara, he is a brawler. And most people don't get this about Mr. Mufara. You come in and you want to get into a fight with Mr. Mufara, you better be loaded for bear because he will not quit. He will not back down. He will do the things that are necessary. He will do honest, clean, and, and ethical. He will do the things necessary to take care of not only he and his family, but on passive and his reputation. And he has done that. On passive, it is a done deal because of what Mr. Mufara has done. But it's more than that. And here's where it gets really, really interesting for all of us. Do you think the evil came in just to take care of Mr. Mufara and on passive? No, no. When you think about it, they came in to rob your house. They came in to steal everything you have. They came in to put you into the dirt. Why did you come into on passive? What visions, what dreams, what, what aspirations did you have as you came into on passive? A hope and a dream. We came in to take care of that financial bottom line, to take care of, of financial freedom and liberty. We came in to be able to live the lifestyle we want to live, to have the to live the dreams we have. And when evil came in to take care of Mr. Mufara and on passive, it wasn't just him. It was us. It was us. And you have to understand that. They didn't come in just to destroy him. They came in to destroy us. And that's not going to happen. We will not suffer evil. 
for me, this is a really, really good place to be. It really is. I already know what Mr. Mufara has done because he's explained that to us over the last couple of weeks, and he's taking care of business. Now it's our turn to engage in the battle. And this is not a difficult thing, but how often in your life have you had the opportunity to look evil in the eye and to be able to engage him in the battle and know you're going to win? And believe me, as an individual, just myself, I can do very, very little. I can fight the battle, but me alone, I just can't do that much. But us as a group, as a million strong and more and counting, we are unstoppable. And it's really, really important to understand this is not just Mr. Mufara's battle. This is our battle. They came after us. And I will not stand by. I will not stand back and let evil succeed in the in the schemes that they brought into the into the picture. And they won't, period. So you and I, and this is so cool. How often do you get a chance to do this? How often do you get the get a chance to really engage in that battle of good and evil? And we're on the good side, honest, clean, ethical. We always have been, we always will be. We get to do that now. And I'm going to tell you how. Mr. Mufar has done the things he needs to do. And, and believe me, the picture is even brighter and even better than you think. And, and do I know all the, the aspects of what Mr. Mufar has done? No, but I can guarantee it is so much better than you can even imagine. And as we move forward on Passive Stars to Roll, we are in a really, really good place. You are going to benefit in ways you never thought you were going to benefit. But here's what we need to do. Here's how we need to engage. Here's how we need to engage in the battle. In the next weeks to come, in my opinion, Mr. Mufara, he's going to continue to come out and update us. He is going to do the state of unpassive. I don't know quite when. It's like the state of the union in the United States. The president comes out and just say, you know, tells how, how everything's going. Well, Mr. Mufara is going to do that with unpassive. It is the state of unpassive. And as he does that, he's going to have things for us to do. Okay. And I believe that's going to happen this month. We'll see. But I, I, I do believe it's going to happen this month. And on passive is going to start rolling in a big, big way. When, when Mr. Mufara comes out and asks us to do the things we need to do, we need to come in and engage. We need to do those things. Now, do I know exactly what those things are going to be? I don't. I don't. It's not important. I don't care what they are. I know Mr. Mufara. I know his heart. And everything he's going to be doing is going to is going to benefit us. It's going to benefit on passive too. We want that. We want on passive to be able to have longevity and, and last for generations. So it's going to be good for on passive, but it's going to be good for us too, whatever it is. And as we come in and, and engage and we do the things that on passive, what Mr. Mfar is going to ask us to do, uh, we are going to have the kind of longevity that you can't under you can't, you can't even comprehend. And as he does that, we need to come in and do them, whatever they are. And I know whatever they are, they're going to be very, very reasonable. They're going to help us. They're going to be things everybody can do. And as an army of one, an army of a million, if we come in and do the things that Mr. Mfar asked us to do, we are unstoppable. Unpassive cannot be stopped, not because of what Mr. Mufara does, although that's a major part of it. It's because of what we do. You, you don't understand the power that we have as individuals combined. We have so much power when we engage, when we engage in the battle, when we engage this evil that's tried to take our dreams away from us, we are unstoppable. And this, and this is, for me, this is where it gets so exciting because we actually get to see what we're going to be doing. Not what Mr. Mufar is going to be doing, what we are doing. Mr. Mufara has been engaged in the battle for over a year, okay? We, we've been in a position where all we, all we had to do was watch. And again, I've heard all the comments about on passive, and you all are wrong. You don't have a clue what you're talking about. Where we are today is exactly where we want to be. You know, the journey is a wonderful thing. But when you get to the end of the journey, when we've reached all our goals, when you have financial independence, when you're able to do the things you want to do, 
you think that's that's the joy. That's where all the joy comes from. You're wrong. The joy is right now. It is in the battle. It is it it, it is being in the battle with Mr. Mufara and all the other affiliates that are out there. This is such a wonderful place to be, not only because Mr. Mufara has learned his lesson that he can't trust everybody on the corporate side of Unpassive. You have to take everything with a grain of salt and you have to protect yourself. He's done that. And in ways you can't even imagine. He's going to share that stuff with us. And you are going to be flabbergasted, absolutely flabbergasted. But today, as, as the days and the few weeks roll by, Mr. Mufar is going to come to us and he's going to tell us, this is what you need to do. This is what I need you to do. I need you to engage. And as you do that, and we, as we roll out on passive, we are going to be in places you can't even imagine. And as 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 uh, August goes by, and then we get into September, October, November, December, those those months are not going to be passive months. Those months, things are going to be happening with an on passive that are going to get you very, very excited about your life. And in the end, that's what's important. How is your life going to change? How can you take care of your family? Are you going to have financial independence? Are you going to be able to live that lifestyle you want to be? You want to live, and I can tell you, based on what I've seen, based on what I've what I've heard, the answer is absolutely. But we have to do what we do. We have to engage. We have to engage in the battle. We are that pit bull out there that when people walk by, they go, "Oh, oh, oh I don't want anything to do with that thing," because they will. Bust me up. And that's what we're going to be doing. We are going to be busting people up. It's it's going to be a really, really fun time, guys. And believe me, whatever Mr. Mufara asks us to do, it is for our benefit. It will not be difficult. Come on in, engage, do what, do what we need to do. And then, yeah, we're just going to start busting people up. It's going to be a very, very, it is a very, very fun time right now.